Hi, thanks for watching, and um, this part of the video is really just me talking about the build and uh, anything I felt like I wanted to include. But since this project was such a big one and I've already covered a bunch of stuff per deck, I thought I'd show you some cool stuff. This land ship is from a game called Ark Knights, if you don't know, if you're here from I don't know where. Uh, Ark Knights is a little mobile game, strategy, tower defense kind of game. Um, they didn't release a lot of information on the landship, but it exists in the lore, and I wanted to build something to that point. This map, I think, probably will work pretty well on survival. You might want to turn on mob spawns. There's these areas that are dark, and then the majority of the ship is kind of well lit. So you'll have the kind of difference between lots of mobs spawning in certain rooms and just kind of a big place to explore. If you want to go somewhere special, uh, find the refinery deck and uh, take a look behind this this door. See what you can find. Oh, it's really hard to see with no light. Anywhere there's a hole of some sort, I kind of try to include these kind of doors. So you see this uh, copper stuff. I think there's one down here, yep. You'll see this copper stuff come up a lot, which are just a kind of big blast doors that can close. This side of the ship was interesting. I was thinking about actually closing this thing with a big door, but I thought I'd just leave it open. I don't know. I did do a video on this part. Uh, this is inspired by one of the more recent updates, because as I've built this ship, they've released more and more information. And look, there's some windows. These don't actually exist on the real one, but this side is kind of very different depending on what reference image you use. Oh, shoot. That little... I don't know what that is. I think of it as like a weather pod, like a weather station thing. There's stuff inside of it. So if you want to go explore that, that's cool. Big tank here uh, filled with water. You can go and have a look inside of that. There's not too much to it. This little bit's kind of weird. There's stuff inside of that you can explore. Uh, these big flat areas I've kept for the most part nice and flat so that it kind of matches what we have in the reference images. Uh, that's why there's not a lot of detail on them, including this section. The tracks are detailed. If you want to go inside of them and take a look, it's also really dark. Let's uh, let's cut her open, shall we? If you're wondering what performance is like, there's my specs. There's my FPS. Java Edition. I will tell you, Bedrock is a lot better. This is the performance on uh, Bedrock Edition at 92 uh, render distance which is a lot smoother. I don't have the exact number. So yeah, Bedrock Edition is remarkably well optimized considering that the map download for Java Edition is gonna be eight gigs and it's gonna be a hundred megabytes or so for Bedrock, which is kind of insane. Uh, here, I've cut open her in a couple areas. Oh, let's go back up. Yep, there, there, there. And we'll just take a look and enjoy the view. In retrospect, I don't know why I thought I could do all of this, but I actually managed to do a lot of it, so I'm happy. Here's a nice cut. stuff on the ground. The map download won't include these massive cuts, but you can cut it open if you want to see. If you take a look here, uh, and you see something interesting, or you're playing the map and you see something interesting, Feel free to see if I talk about it on one of the deck videos. The landship is very big. It is kind of hard to understand the scale of the landship just from the videos, as at least I think so. Um, so I really am excited to let you guys actually download the map and play around with it. 
And yes, the map is 100% free. Check the description below for the download for Bedrock and Java. And yeah, that that's it for the project, I guess. Uh, Helios project is done. The Rhodes Island land ship is complete. Well, where do we go from here? Actually, I have some ideas of what I want to build next, but I want to hear from you guys. You guys who have supported me through this one and about half a year project all the way through. I want to hear what you guys have in mind. Maybe something you've wanted to see built, but no one has done it yet. Maybe something that's not super extreme. This was a very long project, and I'm probably going to do some smaller stuff for a little bit. And then, I don't know. I already have some ideas in mind of some big projects, but uh, let's take it one step at a time. All right. That's it for now. Stay safe. Bye-bye.